So I've been doing YouTube for over four years now, and I am extremely grateful for all of the experiences and opportunities that have come from it. But today, I am excited to announce that I got a new job. Hmm? Hello? Brett, what is this I hear you got a new job and leaving YouTube? You're not leaving me for TikTok, are you? No, 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 no. I just got hired by this brand new coffee shop in NYC called 10,000. They're from Australia and known for their specialty coffees. So they hired me to come in and help promote it. All right, all right. Well, don't get too distracted. YouTube needs you. Content never sleeps. Time is money. Wolfie, out. So I did actually get hit up by this company, 10,000 Coffee, that wants to hire me to promote it. But the thing is, they are this new shop that I've never tried their coffee before. So I feel weird accepting it and promoting something when I don't know what they're all about. So I got just the solution. I'm going undercover. Oh, I gotta fix my mustache. <laughs> So the mission is to go into 10,000 Coffee, have them not recognize me, hence why I'm wearing the hat, got the mustache, got the pea coat, and I even have my spy Ray-Ban glasses. So we're gonna go in there and see what 10,000 Coffee is all about. This thing's really gotta stay on there a little better though. This is gonna be horrible if this falls off. <laughs> Can I just get a black coffee, please? Thank you. Dude, the magic mustache definitely worked. They had no idea who I was, but they did look at me a little weird, so... I don't know if it was the mustache or because they, they recognized me. It's, it's, it's the mustache. <laughs> So now for the moment of truth, we're gonna see how this 10,000 coffee tastes. Some pretty dang good coffee. Let's say it passes the NYC self-certified coffee test. That's the toughest test of them all. That is the toughest test. So now we call it in, we let them know we're down to make this 10,000 coffee content commercial. I don't want to leave this mustache on. For <laughs> Does it look good? Inspector Gadget? Yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks great. That really is some pretty darn good coffee. So I do want to be straight up with you guys. 10,000 is paying me to make this video. This video is sponsored by 10,000 Coffee. And I am really excited to go a different approach about this. You know, typically when I work with brands, it's just shouting them out. But with 10,000, I am doing a bit more of production, wanting to make this commercial for them. And as my business continues to grow, it is really exciting that, you know, YouTube is the funnel for so many different things. And that's definitely where my heart's at. But as I do grow my team, since Chris, Chris, get in here for a second. <laughs> Chris, my old intern, is back and working with me again on the channel. We just did a series in Thailand and Dubai, and now he just moved back here to New York. Yep. And we're gonna be getting after it every day, creating content. It's gonna be an epic summer. Make sure you follow him on TikTok. Yeah, Chris has helped me out with my, my short form too. So if you're not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, get there so you can support Chris's paycheck. <laughs> But doing these videos where it is more than just a YouTube sponsored video, but actually providing value in production and using all of my resources to create content for, for brands like 10,000 is something where I do see more of my business going. Again, YouTube will always be the pinnacle of everything, but to bring in more of these verticals is really exciting to me. And also allows me to expand the team and build this awesome community here. So the plan is tomorrow to go back to 10,000 and try literally one of everything on the menu. I hope their food tastes nearly as good as their coffee. Okay, so what I know so far about 10,000 Coffee is they're from Australia. They have very specialty coffees. They have delicious food 
And the branding behind 10,000 is super cool. The founder, when he was working on starting 10,000 Coffee, he spent 10,000 hours mastering his craft. I'm a big believer in the 10,000 hour rule, so this is super cool and aligns perfectly with what I believe in. So I plan to make a video commercial encompassing both their brand's message of the 10,000 hours as well as their coffee and products. So today, Gabe, Abe, myself, we're gonna order one of everything on the menu, get caffeinated, and shoot some cool content. You ready to drink 10 coffees? Dude, I am so ready. And I know that you've never been to Australia before, but I have to tell you the cafe culture there is insane. One of my favorites and the coffee is just so dang good. So I can't wait. Let's do this. All right, so we just made it up here to the 10,000 coffee. Let's go on in. I wonder if they're gonna remember me from the other day. Dude, the magic mustache, it definitely worked. All right, so we just made here to 10,000 coffees. We got Abe, we got Gabe. They love our team name, and they love us. <laughs> it's like a superhero duo right here. That's it. Hey. <laughs> And we are about to try 10,000 coffees. We got some lattes, we're gonna get some food, even some baked goods as well. And it's really excited to see what this place got. This looks so beautiful, I don't even wanna drink it. Wow. Dude, try that. <laughs> it's unlike any other coffee I've ever had. Mmm, <laughs> this is incredible. I don't know what's in it. I don't know how they do it. Oh, uh, Gabe's telling me I have milk on me. That's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers. Mmm. It's like cold but warm at the same time. It's like tiramisu, right? Maybe? Tiramisu? Yeah, yeah oh, right? it's similar. Yeah, yeah it's it similar. similar. Like there's smoka, creamy, it's really good. Maybe my favorite new coffee in New York? Wait, don't actually say it if you don't mean it. The most unique coffee I've had in New York for sure. I feel like a good way to put it too is, I don't know if I would order this every single day, but like on cheat days when I want a treat and like an extra addition to my coffee, this is the move. Now I get why it took them 10,000 hours to come up with this. Well worth every hour. That's dedication to the coffee. Mm-hmm. Dedication to the coffee. All right, now in addition to the coffee, they also have some amazing pastries and some other food that we got. <laughs> we really went all out. We got the chocolate ganache. We got this almond cream croissants. Two other croissants. Ooh. That is a masterpiece. They all look so good. But I'm gonna go for this cream one right here. Oh. Wow, it's like so soft on the inside. That is a flavor bomb. Flavor bomb, official. <laughs> it's really good. One of the most unique coffees and one of the most unique croissants I've ever had in New York City. I don't say that lightly. And this is a must try. After sampling everything 10,000 has to offer, it really did live up to the hype. And the brand aligns exactly with what I believe in. They have such an attention to detail with every food and beverage item that they put on the menu. And the staff was super awesome as well. The company was even kind enough to invite me to their roaster in Brooklyn to learn more about how their coffee is made. One of the reasons that I'm super excited to make this 10,000 coffee video is because it's giving me the impetus to learn more about coffee, something that I am interested in learning more about. And right now, I am going over the Manhattan Bridge, freezing my ass off, and it's gonna go to a coffee roaster. Never been to one, don't really know how the coffee roasting process works, so really excited to check this out. So I just made it here to Shared Roasting in Brooklyn, where we are going to learn more about 10,000, where they source their beans, how they get it so fresh and high grade, as well as do a cupping. So 
So this is Howie. He's one of the founders of Shared Roasting here in Brooklyn. That's correct. What exactly is a cupping? Simply put, cupping is just a standardized way for coffee professionals to evaluate coffee. So it's pretty much going to be us right now being like coffee sommeliers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pull out everything we can that's good or bad about the coffee and figure out how to make it better is the goal. Okay. I'm excited. I'm a picky coffee drinker, so let's get to nice. this. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I love every coffee. That's great crust breaking technique. Thank you. <laughs> I can tell you've cut before. <laughs> Smells like chocolate. That's great. That's exactly what we're going for at this stage for this mm. coffee. <laughs> so we basically partnered with the team from 10,000 to develop specialty grade coffees that were totally unique. So the first blend that we're trying here is called the New York City blend. And this is our take of having something that's really smooth, full bodied, easy to enjoy and understand. And it really reminds us of having that like nice, sweet toffee along with dark chocolate brownies. It's just delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah does taste like candy, and I love candy. So how, why are you supposed to slurp when you do a cupping? That's a great question. <laughs> so we like slurping the coffee in order to expose the coffee as much as possible on our palates. This helps to aerate the coffee and give us a better, more full experience. But give a slurp. Slurp for sure. One of the things that makes this job really interesting, especially working with uh, 10,000 on these coffees, is they're just super strict about how they want the coffees to taste and how they want the coffees to brew at the cafe. So for example, they even um, implement a one week policy for resting the coffee in order to allow it to degas and ensure a fuller extraction and a more even kind of brew on the cafe side. So they're very peculiar about their coffees. Absolutely. Yeah. And as a person that loves coffee personally, I really appreciate that. Okay. Really I didn't know if it like annoyed you or you appreciate it that they <laughs> care so much about the coffee. Now that I've seen all the steps 10,000 takes to make the most perfect cup of coffee, it was time to bring my commercial for them to life. So now the plan is to make a video where I showcase my story and background, how I spent well over 10,000 hours to become a YouTuber and mastering my craft. Since I definitely can recall all of those late nights until two in the morning, sipping on coffee and just trying to make it. So for this partnership, I feel like it aligns so well since that's also the story of how 10,000 Coffee started. Chris and I are gonna come up with a storyline and hopefully create a, a badass video. Let's roll with uh, what we came up with. Here you go. 10,000 Coffee are masters of their craft and their name means more than just a number. That number represents the amount of hours they put in to creating the perfect cup of coffee. This really resonated with me because if it weren't for coffee, my 10,000 hours would have never been possible. So a tip to anyone who's chasing their own fortune, remember to put in the hours and drink tons of 10,000 coffee. I did want to give a huge thanks to 10,000 Coffee for hiring me for this job and sponsoring this video, as this is a direction that I do want to incorporate more and more into my business. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button since it really does help me out a lot. See you next week.